If you do not change the geopolitical lens, you will never understand it. Then, on those on whose behalf this decision I mentioned was made, who have not thought about for these eight years, simply calling them pro-Russian separatists and terrorists. Those people are the most important for us. I'd like to say once again that the root of today's crisis around Ukraine is the actions of Ukraine itself, who for many years were sabotaging its obligations under the Minsk package of measures. Last week, even, there was a hope that Kiev would rethink and nevertheless implement what it signed up to do in 2015. For this, first and foremost, they needed direct dialogue with Donetsk and Lugansk. However, further confirmation that Ukraine is not ready for this type of dialogue and steps to grant Donbass special status as set forth in the Minsk agreements, while us, with the support of this position from Western backers, finally convinced us that we simply cannot force those living in the Donbass to suffer more. And as much as I already said, the Ukrainian provocation against that those in Donbass not only has not stopped but has intensified, the leaders of the LPR and the DPR turned to us with a request to provide military support in line with bilateral uh, cooperation agreements as ag ag agreed at the same time as they were recognition. This is a logical step, which is a consequence of the actions of the Ukrainian regime. During this meeting... So that is the Russian ambassador obviously defending their action. You see the Ukrainian ambassador sitting there with his hand uh, sort of, his head sort of in his hand uh, in, in disbelief as everyone else except for uh, Russia feels the same sentiment. He is all of us, as we say.